Okay, so we're now at in what what city are we in? Where are uh, we? We're in uh, Karatina. Karatina. Okay. Yeah, it's in near near the county. Near county. Yeah. Yeah, and we've been uh, we were left, you know, at what, seven eight or something from from uh, Nairobi, yeah, yeah. just so that we could visit now Bishop uh, Katimo. Uh, girls High Gandu, School, yeah, Gandu, 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 Bishop Gandu, yeah. Katimo Gandu Girls High School. Yeah. Uh, hopefully to sign an MOU with them to set up a, a coding boot camp for the girls as well. And then we'll also revisit Kagumo High School to get more of these uh, lion stories and some more photos from the high school. Yeah. Uh, we've been sitting in the car now for the last like 40 minutes, yeah. trying to write up all the documents and yeah. prepare all the printouts. So we're now just gonna grab some food um before we head off to the girls high school um yeah and i think that's about it yeah sure so moses you said uh bishop uh katimugandu 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 girls high school yeah girls high school uh were ranked number two number two in the county in the county exactly mm -hmm. uh for the girls category so it's a national school it was initially a provincial school then uh, when the government was devolved, it was among the schools that were actually promoted to become national school. So I believe it has quite uh, uh, a number of students, uh, their country weight, because you see for national school it, it makes students from fine and wide. So I believe there is a lot of diversity uh, in this school, but it's a, it's, it's a very good performing school. Okay, so we, we couldn't get in now, no, because why? Yeah, because uh, one, uh, it's uh, a policy that the exam papers have to leave the school premise for anyone to be allowed in the school. This to avoid malpractice, in case maybe someone has to tamper with the exams, at least uh, the papers should be safe. And something else, they are uh, actually protected by the police. So we have like an escort of about three or four police officers yeah, manning the exam papers. Mm -hmm. It is that serious. Together with the, with the supervisors, each school has a supervisor yeah and uh, a couple of a couple of invigilators mm. so one they are, for us not to get in now like you heard now from the from the from the gate person it, that we have to the exam has have to first of all leave the the premise for us to be allowed right. in the school yeah, so so the girls they finished exams at one o'clock like half an hour ago or something yes i, I yeah i believe yeah. it should be maybe half an hour plus yeah. or minus 10 minutes yeah. yeah oh look there's a is that a goat yeah, it is. Uh, oh, very nice. They have a goat in the school here. <laughs> garden. <laughs> oh, no, there are many goats. So a many of them. It's, it's, <laughs> a field, it's a, a, hockey, a hockey field. A hockey field. Yeah. Why are there goats on the hockey field? Is it just... <laughs> is it the school no. goats or is it just random goats? Uh, no, they are school goats. School goats, school goats okay. Yeah. So the school has goats yeah. for... Uh, any, uh, uh, in agriculture. agriculture. And uh, in Africa, we use goats to trim trim the field. Uh, oh, you don't have... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so they're actually trimming the field. Ah, eh? uh, very, very nice. You don't have to have a gardener. Yeah. This is just more, more efficient. <laughs> exactly. Much better. I would love to have like yeah. goats and instead more, of and more productive. machines. Oh, maybe this one. Our purpose is to facilitate scholarships um, and identify under resourced but high potential students and help them succeed uh, to become coders or programmers uh, working remotely. So essentially, I'll, I'll go through this with you in presentations, but that, that's the core essence of it. So we want to find people who are very talented or very potential, but just don't have the resources, and help them become uh, software engineers or software developers. So in st initially, we actually thought that we wanted to give scholarships more broadly to use to for students to go to university. Mm -hmm. But as we, I mean, I spoke with Moses and Basik and we talked about this, mm -hmm. and we realized that a lot of university graduates don't even do very well. Mm -hmm. they, they go to university and they find it very hard to find jobs. Mm -hmm. And so we realized, we, we tried to figure out what is the most useful thing for them. Like, 
what is in demand right now in the global market mm -hmm. what can you get jobs mm -hmm. and software development and various tech IT skills is mm -hmm. very very high out there mm -hmm. um, in Europe just in the past year mm -hmm. they estimate that there's a lack of 500,000 IT professionals mm -hmm. and, and because of the COVID pandemic as you know it's been more accepted to work remotely mm -hmm. uh, but okay so now we've signed well this is behind the scenes so we took the photo for the mou which we actually did not sign today but we're gonna sign in uh, like two weeks or so because uh, the deputy principal is not going to be here but she can sign it like before we we come so we're going to send over the actual document that has changed we had some typos so we can sign it now um and so she'll sign it and i'll sign it when we get there and stamp and everything and now uh yeah i think that that's that's about it that's about it uh there's no behind the scenes from that but uh next time we'll do some more behind the scenes yeah. as, as we do these kind of official things and uh yeah anyway so now we're going to kagoma high to do more lion stories and then we'll just go back to uh, to uh, Nairobi. <laughs>